Good morning, Mr. Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. My name is Ghazala Alam. My duty today is to coordinate and conduct the meeting. Can I please remind everyone to switch their mobile phones off or at least switch them to silent. Applause will be the only appreciated interruption. The meeting is divided into three parts. We will start today's meeting with the invocation and pledge. A time to reflect, be inspired and honor our country at the start of the meeting. Then the new word, which is an opportunity for members to increase their vocabulary, followed by a humorist who is skillful in the use of humor and will give us a chance to laugh. We will then proceed on to our second part, which involves a prepared speech. This morning, we have a very talented speaker lined up. We will then take a short break, which will be followed by table topics. And then it will be time for the evaluation where we find out how well we did and what we can do to improve. After that is the awards. The last segment will be the adjournment of the meeting with the president's closing remarks. John Toon, the president of our club, has encyclopedic knowledge of our club activities and will ask our guests who have come from different destinations for sharing with us their enthusiasm and expertise and ask them to reflect on everything they brought to the club, not just in terms of their many achievements, but also in the way in which they helped develop a culture of friendliness and support amongst the membership and share some of their memories with us. Fellow Toastmasters, we should be so grateful to be a part of the Toastmasters Club, where we have conversations to enrich our minds and the privilege of training ourselves, a clear understanding and a steady purpose to make the most of our talents and lead us into the fields of work where we can best serve humanity. I would ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. A man with a scant vocabulary will almost certainly be a weak thinker. The richer and more copious one's vocabulary, the greater one's awareness of fine distinctions and subtle nuances of meaning, and the more fertile and precise is likely to be one's thinking. Knowledge of words and knowledge of things grow together. Henry Hazlitt. Richard Siegel is going to be introducing the new word to us today. A humorist is a person who's skillful in the use of humor, as in writing, talking or acting. How do great speakers connect, engage and entertain their audiences? The French author Victor Hugo said, laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. Imagine the effect when you are speaking to an audience of dozens, hundreds or thousands. When used properly, humor is a powerful tool in any speaker's arsenal and it can have tremendous benefit. I would like to invite Paul Lockwood, who is our humorist for the day. Paul? One of the missions of the Toastmasters Club is where members are empowered to develop oral communications and leadership skills. Oral communication is the process of expressing information or ideas by word of mouth. As Fruit says, words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or deepest despair. They can transfer knowledge from teacher to student. Words enable the orator to sway his audience and dictate its decisions. Words are capable of arousing the strongest emotions and prompting all men's actions. I present to you our first speaker, Stephanie Johnston. The title of her speech is The Non-Existent Bear. From the Path, Visionary Communications, Level 3 Elective Project is Inspire Your Audience. The purpose of an inspirational speech is to motivate audience members to improve themselves personally, emotionally, professionally or spiritually. 
Stephanie is seeking to inspire her fellow Toastmasters today by divulging one of her most pervasive irrational fears. She wants to share how she has learned to ignore the crazy thoughts and cut through the fear so she can keep moving forward with her life. Irrational fear feeds on itself and grows. You must deny it. Dean Coons from Brother Odd. Ms. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guest. The number one way I do not want to die is to be eaten by a wild animal. As a result of this fear, I've made it a point to avoid most wilderness and remote areas for most of my life. That strategy worked pretty well for me until our best friends moved to Helena, Montana. Brian and Pam are avid hikers, bird watchers, and photographers, which is what led them to make the move from Crystal Lake to the middle of nowhere. For two years, I'd managed to fill my vacation calendar with anything but a trip out there to see them, because I knew, I knew they wanted to share their passion of hiking and all the beautiful mountain views with me. However, I didn't want to be eaten by a bear. The power of the human languages flows from more than the quantity of words. Great power lies in a few quality words. Just imagine what can be said in the time it takes to make a three-minute phone call. In that length of time, an average speaker will say about 375 words. Lincoln's Gettysburg Address contained only 270 words. Shakespeare's immortal to be or not to be Silly Q from Hamlet lasted only 261 words. The Lord's Prayer has only 52 words. The Ten Commandments comprises of less than 300 words. What I am saying is a lot can be said in a few words. Irene will be conducting the Table Topics segment. Table Topics is a long-standing Toastmasters tradition intended to help members develop their ability to organize their thoughts quickly and respond to an impromptu question or topic. The master evaluator evaluates everything that takes place during the club meeting and tells us how well we did on things such as timeliness, enthusiasm, preparation, organization, performance of duties. Stephanie Johnston is our master evaluator. She will introduce the individuals evaluating the prepared speech and will also call on the grammarian and the timekeeper for their reports. Stephanie Johnston. And now it's time for the awards ceremony. Remember, it is not the length of the ceremony that decides the impact of the recognition, but it is our enthusiasm, warmth, and sincerity. Fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, please help me to acknowledge today's award recipients. In the articulate woman, Evelyn Oppenheimer notes, that the most important person in the world is introduced in just a few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Well, here you go, fellow Toastmasters. Here is the President of the Crystal Lake Toastmasters Club, John Toon. closing here today. What a fun meeting. We have so enjoyed having many former club members here in attendance today. You are all a testament to the Toastmasters education program. You're such accomplished speakers. With the time that we have left here today, we thought it would be fun to ask each of you to speak one more time. Could you please either share a favorite memory of your time in Toastmasters 
or let us know what it has been like for you to be back at a Toastmasters meeting here today. Thank you.